guess what? EA gifted me a full EPL team of the season starter squad. Seriously. Hey guys, Finally Sleeps here. You may have noticed that EA's ability to grant players for giveaways had a hiccup last week when Premier League was released in Team of the Season. It took almost a week to correct the issues, but they're all back and running. Giveaways are back up. Uh, they'll start again next week for me for the next two leagues. We'll do one on Twitter and one on Twitch, the same as what we have been doing. But along with all of that, I was gifted a full Team of the Season Premier League squad to test and play around with. Now, big thanks go out to Antoine and the full team at EA for making this possible. So the squad came in at around 600 million in value, uh, up to a, a little over 700 million when you look at everything. Uh, we're talking the full, the full list. This wasn't just a group of 11, included uh, reserves like Mane, even though we had Sun, there was also Rooney and Daglish, another version of Daglish, and uh, an, a few other reserves. There's even Kane in there, and the exchange right mid. There's Mares, everything. It was the full, whole kit and caboodle. Now, before you guys go all, you know, that's not fair. Here was the deal I agreed to for this incredible opportunity. The players are on loan only. I can't keep them. In fact, I'm not even allowed to use them in any kind of uh, competitive gameplay. And then when I'm done checking them out, I have to quick sell them. I'm also only allowed to use them in offline matches and friendlies. So no taking advantage of this full, squ full squad and anything like division rivals. Uh, some of the extreme uh, AI matches and team of the season, though, have become super easy with these guys as I'm using that to test them. Uh, just checking them out in those AI matches that are based off of what your uh, versus and head-to-head -head stats are, it's insane the quality of play I'm getting out of them. Now, I do plan on milking the hell out of these Premier League players over the next week or so. Uh, if you have any players you want to see exclusive game gameplay on, just let me know in the comments. Now, the pace and acceleration improvements over the existing lots of 93 OVRs that we've had for a really long time is the first thing that is 100% apparent uh, when you're playing with these guys. You can finally outrun most of the defenders in game that we've been dealing with, even with midfield starters. There we are, Bernardo Silva with a few ball rolls and then a left-footed shot across the goal and then you gotta love the new robot celebration come on finishing foot skills just overall quality is next level now there are a few meh, kind of things with this ronaldo has rainbow assigned as his skill move which can be difficult to contend with at times uh, you have to time when you use it you can't be straight coming onto a defender the defender has to either be flat-footed or ready to be stunned it's, it's just a little bit difficult to get used to. Uh, sometimes, though, if you're able to time it correctly so that you're just off center with the defender when you come in on the defender, it can make for some epic finishes and some runs downfield. You just can't come straight in on the defender or the keeper. Yeah, I got to got to watch it back. Got to watch that back one more time. Salah is by far and away my favorite player out of all of these Premier League starters. Uh, I'm I'm not just saying that either. Okay, so the the right wing card for him is five star left foot, four star right foot. His pace, his shooting, his finishing, all of his stats are amazing. Here he is on position with. Agility at 14, uh, acceleration, finishing, curve, uh, agility, and reactions are all bumped by the skill boost. A 117 curve from a left-footed right wing is going to curl into that back post over and over, especially if you're swiping when you're using it. High attack rate, 
medium, you know, medium defensive work rate, but he's a wing. I mean, you're not expecting him to come all the way back and help out in defense. Roulette is his assigned skill move. Selfish, finesse shot, long shot taker, speed dribbler, outside foot shot. The card is absolutely amazing. He's quick. He's agile. He has pace. And, I mean, he can finish. Uh, and I'm not just saying that as a Liverpool guy either. Uh, his gameplay here with these the team of the season starter is straight up phenomenal. I mean, there we are. Another uh, a rainbow, a signed rainbow, not his, his default skill move, but a signed rainbow, much like Ronaldo, able to chip the keeper in one of these, or um, rainbow over the keeper in one of these extreme matches. Ronaldo, close second for me as being amazing out of the gate for all this. Now, I'm not really a CR7 fan, but in-game, he's near unstoppable. Uh, here he is on position with second striker at 14. 105 pace, 122 shooting. He's right-footed, five-star right foot, four-star weak foot. He does have five-star skill moves, though. Uh, which is why he has the rainbow as his default. 133 finishing, 132 shot power, positioning, sprint speed, and agility. Uh, even 108 heading and 108 jumping. His curve is way lower than uh, Salah, but you're pretty much coming straight up the middle with Ronaldo. Not as much coming out from the touchline in from wing like you would with a right wing or a left wing. Uh, high attack rate. Low defensive rate because he's going to quit if he loses it. Uh, Rainbow. Uh, celebration is right here right now. Powerful driven free kick. Flare. Long shot taker. Speed dribbler. And outside foot shot. Uh, is actually just an ex just extremely potent striker if you're going to use it. The only thing holding me back from pushing Ronaldo to the top on my list compared to Salah is that default rainbow skill move. Other than that, his speed and finishing, uh, it just more than makes up for it. Now, I've had these guys a few days now, and they are so much fun just to play with. Even though it's just offline matches, the, the fun factor is through the roofs. And I think that has to do a lot with the fact that we've been playing with uh, 93s for so long, and it's just exciting to get some you know, newer, higher stat players in there into the game. Now, over the next week or two, 
Uh, I'll throw a few more videos together. We'll take a deeper look at a few of the midfielders, the defense, and maybe even the icons. If you have anyone from TOTS Premier League you want me to do a video on specifically, just let me know. Like I said, I plan to milk these guys for a while until my hand is forced and I have to quick sell them, which is just, damn, I mean, that's, that's going to be hard. Uh, if you want to see them live, make sure you follow over on Twitch. I go live around reset on Wednesdays and Fridays, and I guarantee you'll be playing. see me playing with this squad there on stream over the next couple of weeks. Again, a big thank you to Antoine and the full team at EA for making this possible. It's been a blast using these players, and hopefully this is the start of something we can continue throughout the course of the season. Now, although I'm being forced to quick sell 700 million coins worth of players, I mean, I think that should technically be considered cruel and unusual punishment, but that's just me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe here at YouTube and turn on notifications so you never miss when a video goes live. Check out FinallySleeps.com for even more gaming info and secret tips, private videos, and whatever. Uh, thanks for hanging out. As long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep making videos.